welcome to this quick video and in this video we are going to learn about you know like let's say if you got some geometry from other software or something and let's say if you want to fracture that geometry okay so what happens a lot of times you have lots of big pieces and lots of small pieces so let's say you have a geometry of some building which has windows and you know mirrors and um, you know kind of uh, like you know like you can say the walls and all the problem could be like you know maybe not everything could be grouped or let's say if you have a group which has all the walls but then you have some small pieces in the walls or something and which you don't really want to fracture so let's see how we can do something like that like how we can remove those small pieces and then you know just keep them separate and just add them back to the simulation okay so let's say if i just use a rvd bullet solver over here i'll connect this and i'll just go into this collision I'll add a ground plane, go to the visualization and turn off this show ground. Okay. So if I do the same, you will see this geometry will fall and it will have these small pieces over here. Okay. So that's all good and fine. But let's say if I uh, put a RBD material fracture. Okay. And I'm just going to remove this secondary fracture over here. Okay. And I'll just increase the scatter to like 50. And now let's see if I just, you know, fracture this geometry. Let's see what happens. So you will see this is going to like fracture almost everything. You can see, you know, we, we also fracture the legs and, you know, we can also, we might also fracture these small pieces. Luckily they didn't got fractured, but let's say if you increase the scatter points to something like 200. Now if you do the same, let's see what happens. Okay. So now you can see we have also fractured those small pieces which we don't really want to okay so let's see how we can uh, fix this thing okay so here uh, so if the geometry is inside hoodney you might just have a grouping for them but let's say if you are getting the geometry from somewhere else uh, let's see how we can fix that okay so basically what we want to do is we want to remove the small parts and in order to like remove the small parts we need to add a for each loop so just put this for each connected piece so this connectivity it makes sure that you know this uh, this for each loop runs on each and every uh, object so basically it's classifying it's you know it's giving a class attribute to each connected object and it's keeping all these objects into a different class so that this uh, rule can you know get uh, run on each and every object separately okay now if you put anything in between this so let me show you so let's say if i put a scatter node over here and let's say if i click on this maybe if I increase the total count you can see we have a total of 10,000 points running over the whole geometry so you know this whole geometry has 10,000 points but let's say if I want to add 10,000 points individually on every you know like on every piece you know on every object which is like having this geometry, which is which is this geometry consists I'll just need to put this scatter in between for each loop and now if I click on this now you'll see each object is going to have 10,000 points and that is the power of this for each loop it basically so Houdini does not know like you know like Houdini is kind of dumb when it comes to this kind of thing I mean that's the power of Houdini you know so let's say if you have 10,000 objects merged into one and if you do a scatter node it only treats the whole geometry as a single object okay so that also happens with fracturing and almost every uh, thing that you do so what we want to do is we want to put a measure node in between this so what this measure node will do it will basically uh, calculate the uh, measurement it's going to measure each and every piece over here but now let's say if you if you would have just connected it like this you know uh, this would be just calculating the area of the whole object and not the individual objects okay let's say if i put the measure node in between okay and now uh, basically it's going to create a attribute uh, which is like area and you, you just need to change this accumul accumulate which is set to per element change it to per piece so that it can go on to each piece okay and now let's say if i use a blast node and let's say if i write something like uh, add a rate area is greater than 0 0.1 okay so you can see we have lots of small objects and you know which are like being uh, read out over here because you know we are saying all the objects which have area greater than 0 0.1 they should be deleted okay so the area for these objects is like you know less than 0 0.1 so they are preserved and let's say if I instead of this one let's say if I do something like area greater than one so now we also have the legs 
because the area for the legs is falling under the one uh, value okay so this way let's say if i put it to like something like 0.1 i can prevent these small pieces from getting fractured okay and what i'll do is i'll just do a right click actions and i'll do a create reference copy and in this one i'll just do do the inversion of this and i click on this delete selected so let's say if i increase this value you know so let's say if i put it to one so here we will have the legs and the horns and over here we'll just have the uh, main object the big object okay so this way we can you know like uh, now what i can do is i can just fracture um, you know okay so I, I don't want to fracture this basically i want to fracture this big piece okay so i'm just fracturing uh, adding lots of cuts to this big object and now if i do the simulation you'll see we we are only going to break the you know the big object over here okay so that is all cool but now let's say if i want to bring this uh, data back to the simulation how can i do that well let's see so you need to do some stuff basically we want to merge both of them so if you just directly you know merge both of them this is not really going to work you'll see you know it doesn't works okay it's not taking all these objects so you'll need to perform some actions again so the thing is like when this fracture happens it creates a piece attribute for everything it's it creates a namespace and all that stuff so we'll have to pack this thing first of all so let's use an rbd pack and we'll pack everything i'm not going to pack the constraints because i'm because i'm not really using any constraints over here okay and then you'll have to pack this geometry as well so over here also you can just connect the first input because we are not having any proxy so we can just connect the first input and then now we can just do a merge over here and now let's see if i okay so again i cannot really just merge this over here because this is packed geometry i need to unpack it first of all so now so before merging anything you'll need to pack everything and then you'll have to unpack and now if i bring this to the rbd bullet solver we'll see we'll get some something like this but you know there is something wrong we, we still don't have uh, you know these small pieces and the reason is because you know as i told you when this rbd material fracture is happening it's creating a id and you know name attribute attribute for everything but here we don't have that so just put an assemble node over here and you know you don't really need to do anything it already creates a name attribute for everything okay you can see it says prefix so basically it's creating a name attribute for everything so you know uh, our rbd solver knows that these are pieces as well and now if i just go over here and if i do the same okay so that is what we get so you can see we have preserved the legs and these small horns but we have fractured everything else okay so once again let's say if i just go back over here okay and let's say i want to fracture the legs also so i can put something like 0.1 this way i'll only have these horns over here and then you know these legs and everything are going to get fractured okay then they'll be packed and same thing over here we only have the horns they'll get the name attribute which is so rbd material fracture is doing everything for us but because you are not having any rbd material fracture over here we'll have to assemble them then just pack both of them merge them okay so now they all are one and we just need to do a final unpack and then bring everything to the rbd solver now if you do the same we get something like this okay so this is really a, a you know this is kind of a very important thing you know because lots of time you get some object or something from other software where you might not have access to the group and you really don't want to fracture those small pieces um, before sending them to the bullet solver because uh, we already might not want to you know simulate them or let's say if you even if you want to simulate them you don't really want to fracture them because they are like already too small and we are already you know when we do our bd we already make the debris and all so if you fracture those small pieces uh, there there could be millions of small pieces and then if you fracture it more you know they are just going to get multiplied so that is it that is how you remove small pieces and so we have two thing we have learned two things from the video one is like you know how to calculate the measure uh, you know like how to calculate the area okay and then blast out those small pieces based on the area attribute and then how to uh, you know fracture the big pieces and then combine the small pieces together and you know run the, run them through the bullet solver all right so yeah that's it i hope you learned something new 
and let's see in the next tutorial bye bye